ask and you shall receive. I've been kayaking the Aquacorn. I came from Bull Run Marina and I'm not sure where I'm at really. It's uh, no longer on the map. You know, the map only showed it going so high and or so far. And I, I assume I'm around some kind of gun club or something because of all the, the firing going on. Got my kayak out. Got loaded up with a little lunch stuff. I'm going to stop and make lunch and I'll do a video on that because I'm going to try a new lunch. I'm going to try some beef stew. So keep me out for that one. This kayak is a... It's a cheap kayak I got. It's... It was $180 at one like TJ Maxx or something like that. One of them, I don't know, discount stores, whatever you want to call them. And it's, it's done alright. I've only had it out a couple times. Uh, last weekend I was out. I didn't do a video. You know, familiarizing myself. And what I did was I went down from, from Bull Run Marina. I went down to uh, Fountainhead Park. And... It was a real good ride. I found a real nice nice place to stop, set up the hammock. We got some visitors coming. Found a nice place to stop and set up the hammock and made lunch and just enjoyed myself. So let me get set up a little more and I'll bring y'all back. Alright, now I've got my kitchen set up. There's a lot of guns. Got a little spy supply of twigs for my uh, little fire box. There's that dew cooler one I did a, a review on. I'm going to cook it in my canteen cup. And of course I have my the lid I made. Um, for lunch. Let's see here. I have my dehydrated vegetables. Some beef jerky. If I can get it open, just on them canned potatoes, just to save on some of the time for cooking. Cause the rest of the stuff I can warm up and then let it hydrate for a little bit while I fish. Got my herb box, beef. Uh, it's not really coming in. Herb box, beef. Uh, bouillon it's a powder granule so I'm gonna get the fire started put some water in get it boiling and have my vegetables and meat in there put the lid on let it sit for a half hour or so and uh, once they look like they're rehydrated I'll add the rest of the mixture the potatoes and the seasonings okay I got my uh, veggies and beef in the pot there along with a box of the herb box I'm sorry a pack of the herb box and now these little tank containers I told y'all about in another video that's not really coming out too clear but there's the rest of my seasonings for my stew let's see here hold on got my seasonings in there Didn't even have it in scene. Pour the seasonings in. Now the reason I'm doing that is that way those can also get all that flavor in there. And I've just got some basics, you know, some garlic, uh, pepper, crushed red pepper, uh, some chipotle, which is kind of like chili powder. I have chili powder, uh, some oregano, I don't remember what all else. Just whatever suits your fancy. Um, but as you saw, I didn't take any space to put all that together. Now I'm going to put the lid on that. And then once that gets uh, really boiling, I can let that fire die out pretty much. And in fact, to be honest with you, I can just bring it to a boil, let the fire die out, let it sit, throw the potatoes in when it's cooled off and everything's hydrated. And uh, it's a warm day, so I don't even need to eat it that hot. As long as it's warm enough to bring the potatoes up. Actually, it looks like my fire's going out, so let me put this up and get on with putting the fire on. Alright. 
let me tell you, I know a lot of people say, oh, I wish I had smell vision I'm going to tell you what. This right here is one of the reasons why. This smells amazing. Everything's working on rehydrating. Uh, I don't know if the beef jerky's getting soft or not. You know, I really haven't done this before. But we're going to give it a shot. You know. And I do have another pack of uh, bouillon if I need it, but I tasted it, and I don't think I do. really don't think I do. Mm, carrot's actually pretty soft. This spoon I'm using, it's a set. It's a minim, minimus. Ethically made in Taiwan. And it comes with a spatula, and they they just nest together, they snap together. And it's something I just picked up not that long ago. I, I kind of wish it had a longer handle, but it's good also that it doesn't, because it fits right in my canteen pouch. And the strap, this is there's a flap that goes out. You can put it over top of the canteen. I don't put it out. And there's a loop on that. For the uh, the strap that buckles to go through, and the spatula actually fits right in there, and it'll hold in place. So even when I take all my stuff out, it's still held up. So I haven't used the spatula. I haven't really needed it. I've only I've only used it twice. I used it last time I went out, and uh, I used it this time right now. I gotta tell you, I really like the thing. I really do. And uh, to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna add the potatoes now. Prop that up. Let's go over here and grab the potatoes. Just that bag of potatoes. And a little splashage. Drop them in there. Make sure we let that juice get in there because that's going to be the starch to thicken it. And we'll just, we'll just let her sit. I'm not keep paying attention to this, not my camera. Hopefully it doesn't take the flavor away. Just taste the broth here. You know what? I think I am going to add that other pack of bully on. So, I'll get back with you. Alright. It's uh, time to taste this and I'll figure I'll bring y'all back for the first taste. And if it's horrible, well, I won't make it again. Alright, let's, uh, let's get a spoonful with a little bit of everything on it. Half the food. Hmm. Get another bite with some of that broth and all in there. That's not bad. Uh, could use a little salt. That herb box once you know the same as the chicken one. It's sodium free. I kind of thought that you know I didn't add any salt because I thought the beef jerky would have plenty of salt to it, but no. And you know of course potatoes always seem to soak salt up. That's not bad at all. The, uh, still hot. The beef jerky is actually pretty tender. It, it, it rehydrated, you know, pretty good. Pretty soft here. I'm, I'm surprised in that. 
that wasn't even expensive beef jerky. It was just, you know, store brand. And it just very, very easily pulls apart. Got lots of flavor still, you know, nothing got watered down really. Uh, I'm glad I added the second packet of seasoning. So, yeah. This one's definitely a winner. Uh, need to add something to, to thicken it. Maybe one of the packets, uh, one of the little paint cans put filled with flour. Something like that, cornstarch, something. Mmm. The potatoes are so good. I like them canned potatoes. Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat. I doubt y'all want to watch that. So, thanks for watching. Well, later is unless I put this into the same video as the kayak because I'm not doing much for that. But there, I'll give you the view of uh, what I'm looking at as I'm eating my lunch here. Got sitting down right there. I'm sitting in the kayak. I got stuff kind of thrown all over the place. That little rod right there. I'm reaching over my shoulder. It's hard to do it. But that little rod right there. That's one of those old pin style. It's not a pin fishing rod. It's a pin style. I've been playing with that. Um, depending on what I think about it, I'll do a review on it. I've seen lots of little fish. I haven't, I've gotten hits. I haven't managed to land anything yet, but I think they're all pretty small. And now there's a plane going overhead. But, you know, this is the style I like to do. I like to kayak or canoe. You know, usually it's canoe. This is new to me, the kayak. But I like to go down a river and find a place to to pull over a place where people don't usually get to you know and there's this could very well be a spot that people normally stop at nobody seemed to know about it because as i was coming up i wouldn't find anything i was like man where am i gonna cook my lunch at but i found this spot and well, and, well I, nobody everyone said no nah, there's no place to really pull over but this spot is perfect i mean it's, it's great it's got plenty of shade uh, I'm not getting eaten up, but you know, it's that's just the luck of the draw. Sometimes they'll be there, sometimes they won't. But you know, I'll pull in, I'll fish from the bank. I generally like fishing from the bank, to be honest with you. And maybe mess around the water a little bit and then just go back, you know. So, to me, the kayak, the canoe, it, it's, it's, a, it's a way to get to your destination. And, you know, not that I don't enjoy, I love the, love the ride. It's beautiful. It's like being on a motorcycle. A motorcycle's a way to get to a destination, but it's all about the ride when you're on it. And that's the same way I feel with the, with the kayak. Um, you know, once I'm here, it's all about enjoying this spot and where I'm at. Not seeing what's around the next bend. Where in the kayak, it's okay, what's farther ahead? What's, what's coming up next? You know, what am I going to see over there? Where here, it's just, oh man, there's a big one there. Yeah, anyhow. So, I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'll get back with y'all. Wish this thing could pick up those fish. You know, there's, there's a lot of them swimming around in there. Alright. That's where I was at. All cleaned up, nothing but footprints. And now, to head on down there. 